The Philly Shell defense is one of the most awkward defensive techniques in boxing. When your opponent uses this technique correctly, they can make it very difficult for you to be able to land a clean punch on them. But how can you beat someone who uses the Philly Shell defense? The use of footwork to avoid the counter backhand. The pullback straight backhand is one of the most common counter punches used by fighters who use the Philly shell technique. Now look at Loma here, once he throws his body punch he moves his feet towards the right side of Rigo now which makes it hard for Rigo to throw his counter straight backhand. Loma here lands a punch on the inside against his opponent but this time he uses his footwork to take an immediate step back and what this does is this prevents Rigondeaux from landing his counter straight backhand. Now here are more clips which evidently show you how the use of angles and clever foot movement in the fight was really confusing Rigondeaux and preventing him from landing his backhand. This shows how footwork could help prevent you from getting countered by the straight punch by a boxer who uses the Philly shell defense. Mixing up the attack to both the body and the head. Philly shell boxers are very good at blocking punches which are thrown in only one direction but look at fighters like Linares when they mix their combinations they cause great damage. By mixing punches both to the body and the head the fighters have a higher chance of getting through that tight defense. The use of angles to create attacking opportunities. Standing straight on to your opponent would make it very easy for them to read which punch you are going to throw. However, look at Lomachenko and how he is utilizing his angles to create openings in his opponent's defense. By doing this, Loma and Cotto gave themselves a higher chance of landing a more powerful punch on their opponent's face. Attack the body and apply pressure. Look how Maidana was applying pressure on Mayweather by pushing him back onto the ropes. As well as this, he was slowing his opponent's momentum down by throwing and landing powerful body punches. By landing these punches, Mayweather's movement was slightly restricted which kept him on the ropes, resulting in Maidana having a higher chance in getting through Mayweather's tight guarded Philly shell defense. But remember to keep the right hand up to block the counter left hook. Look at Mayweather, every time his opponent applied the pressure onto him he took a little step back and threw his signature check left hook. This punch at times has actually knocked people out. This is a very common counter punch used by fighters who use the Philly shell defense. Now look at Sergei Kovalev, he was very cautious of Ward throwing the counter left hook so he always kept his right hand up to make sure that he was always protected from that counter punch as well as this he would always take a step back as well by taking a step back and also keeping your hand up prevented Ward from throwing his left hook this is a brilliant demonstration of how to block the check left hook from a boxer who uses the Philly shell defense